Hey, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and I wanted to come to you live today and share some of my coolest, most fun vision hacks on improving vision in a fun way, and lots of games and just some cool ideas. I know I'm a mom at home right now, just like many of you who will be tuning in and are tuning in to watch. <laughs> Karina, good to see you on here. I need help. I don't know if you all need help, but it's crazy trying to hold our kids' attention when they're home all day long, homeschooling, juggling a job, or juggling a business, and all the things that have to happen, not to mention how many times a day can one child eat, for crying out loud. I don't know if you're like me, but I feel like we're eating like the weight of, I don't know, 50 men. 50 grown men is what's happening at our house. Lots of eating going on. So I've got some cool tips I wanted to show you. And I promise, stay to the very end, because these are way fun. Okay, first of all, one of my absolute fun, most fun. Ooh, let's do a video swap here. Hold on just a minute. We're gonna flip this around so that you can see this stuff forward. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is one of my absolute favorite games, Quirkle Cubes. These things are awesome because what happens is they come in a bunch of colors, first of all. So you have these cubes of different colors and on each side of the cube is a different shape. And what you can do is you can have your child make like almost like a domino of all of these shapes. They can match by shapes. They can match like this. Okay, they can match by colors. There's a whole bag of these things. It's a great discrimination task. It's really good. It keeps kids busy and occupied. Um, hopefully I'm not gonna run out of a battery, so I better talk fast. Okay, if you've got, um, go into your baking pantry and find a little pie tin, okay? This is like a teeny tiny one. Grab a ball or marble, put it inside of here. This is a great game you can play with kids that if you've got multiple kids in the family and you can have a lot of fun with it and a skill building too. But what they have to do is they have to roll around the marble in here. Now they're gonna be watching it. That's gonna create great skills they're gonna help them track better if they're playing um, a sport, but also if they're reading, all right? So we wanna help their tracking skills. So roll this thing around in the pie tin, it's kinda of cool. Then what you do to have a fun game with it is put a timer on it and make it like a hot potato with after like five roll arounds, five times, they've gotta pass it to the next kid and you can't let the marble fall out of the pie tin. I guarantee your kids will be having lots of fun with that. Now we have this thing that's like a bear sort. And this, it doesn't matter what you've got. You've got stuff around the house, trust me, that's like this. But this bear sort thing, if you take a look at this one, it's got a bunch of different colors. Now we happen to have cups, but you can have them do things sorting by colors. And to make it more fun, because maybe you're like, my kid's 10. They're gonna think that that's cheesy and boring. What? Whatever. What you're gonna do <laughs> for that 10 year old is go, you've got 30 seconds or whatever, or let's see how you can beat your time today. I did it, mom did it, and I was I did it in five seconds flat or 25 seconds or whatever. But have them take a bunch of different items, they're all these colors, and then you do it, time yourself, and then say like, see if you can beat mom. All right, and then what they've gotta do is they have to match up the colors. So maybe that you don't have these fancy cups that the colors can go into and they can sort the color based on the cup, but you can have them put it in piles. Sabina, good to see you, thank you so much. All right, so have them put those things in piles. That's a really fun one. I guarantee they'll like it. It will keep them busy, and if you get a really awesome time, then they're gonna try really hard to be beating your time. Trust me on this one. Um, the sorting stuff is really good for uh, discrimination skills, and that's perfect for reading because they need to know how to discriminate words. You know, if you've got a child, who by some chance when they're reading happens to like skip over certain words or you're, you're like, chair, that word's not chair, that word was Christmas, right? And they threw out something that wasn't really the word. Okay, well then they may have a problem with discrimination. That's kind of what we do at our office and I'm giving you some quick tips of some fun things you can do at home and you'll find out right away if your child has this issue. Okay, I gotta move on because my battery's going low. <laughs> okay, so hang in there. Another fun game that I love, this one is really awesome. It's Eye Hand Coordination Dutch Blitz. It's an old game, it's an old card game. But it's one of those that you're like building up piles and everyone's going fast and hands are slapping. So it's an amazing game for a family to play together. You can actually get multiple sets and if you really wanna get just like 
crazy ridiculous with it. You can get multiple sets of these games going all at the same time. It gets wild. But everyone's slapping and grabbing cards and trying to complete the piles. So it's one of those really fun eye-hand coordination games. Thinking fast, they have to look at the item and process and see it quickly too. All right, moving on. Now, I don't have everything here for this one, but just imagine that you take a bunch of toothpicks and I'm gonna show you my desk. My desk is a mess because right now I've got games and things all over it. But by the way, you guys, we've got a YouTube channel, um, Vision Therapy YouTube channel. So go look me up, Dr. Julie Steinauer on YouTube and like our YouTube channel. So all right, dump out a bunch of toothpicks on the table okay and i'm talking about a lot don't just don't be wimpy about it dump out like you know a lot and then there's several things that you can do one is they can take pretend that i'm using tweezers but they can take tweezers and they can line the tweezers up so that they're lining them all up you guys can't see this so hold on oh, hold on okay so line them all up like this in a straight line they can be all touching or you can put them so that they're spaced a certain way um, apart you could even have a picture that they had to put the, twe the um, toothpicks on, like the outline of the picture, right? And they're using tweezers, eye-hand coordination, and they're putting the, the toothpicks on the outline of the picture. Awesome, awesome game. All of the stuff that I'm giving you is amazing for building skills to help your child read better. You know, it's kind of cool. Um, one of the things that I love about what we do in our clinic at Vision for Life is that we help kids read anywhere from about three to seven grade levels above where they came in at whenever we started working with them. So pretty awesome stuff. These are amazing tips. Okay, I'm gonna quit cleaning that up. Now, let me show you the next one. Okay, so if you've got a piggy bank, a piggy bank, kids are bored. Go dump out all of your change. Tell them if you count out all of my change from mom's pocketbook or whatever, that I'll give you, you know, a doll or something, whatever you wanna do, or I'll give it all to you or something have them count it out put it in stacks you know stack it by quarters or stack it by dollars or stack it so they can sort it if you want them to sort it or they can put it into dollars the next thing is is then have them put some in their piggy bank okay drop it in their piggy bank a good eye hand coordination technique is to drop it in the piggy bank okay i gotta move on i'm running out of time and battery okay so here's the next one all right so this is just a really awesome little you know, velcro -y. kind of a dartboard. There's tons of dartboards that you can buy, but this one's really fantastic for younger kids too because they can fling a ball easier, okay? And it's great eye-hand coordination. Obviously, most of the stuff I'm talking about is about eye-hand coordination. This is such great stuff for building skills. It is super important for reading, all right? So you can tell them, try to hit the 500 and see if they can aim right? Help them out for going back to their sports playing, but you're also going to help them have better handwriting skills by a lot of this stuff and certainly better reading skills. Okay, I have more. Oh, get them outside. If they've got a bike and you've got some area that you can ride in, you're not going to get in trouble for that. Get out and ride a bike or um, hop on a scooter or do something that is body coordinated. Play at the gym set if you have that in your backyard. I know lots of parks and things are closed right now, but do what you've got. You know, you could make um, in your house, make an obstacle course that they have to like crawl around in and maybe pick up stuff. Um, or maybe you do like a treasure hunt inside of your house and get them to, you know, if they're doing like an obstacle course in the crawling, crawl them around different things. Tell them directions, turn right. So they learn how to do their, their directions of turning right and left. Um, have them, you know, give them an obstacle course or a, a treasure hunt of things to find through the house where they have to use some thinking skills and they have to think about where stuff is located. All right, here's another one. Okay, so this is an awesome one. If you've got anything that you can do that's like, hey, Valerie, good to see you on here, doctor. Um, so um, this is a really cool one. This is like anything that you can do that's like bead stringing or um, you know those crafty things. Not only is it great eye hand coordination, um, there's like latch kits that you can do. There's all kinds of sewing stuff they can do. Any of that sort of thing is really, really awesome. Um, these are just really great things that keeps your kids busy. They can, this little one here, they can like shoestring it. They can make necklaces. You know, if the kids are really, really little, like make mommy a necklace, I'll wear the necklace for the next, you know, five minutes. Don't say an hour and you'll have this big heavy necklace on. Okay, I digress. 
bubbles. Woo. Hopefully, if you're a family with kids, you've got bubbles in your household. If not, there's all kinds of really cool recipes with like water and soap that you can make bubbles. I'm sure someone crafty can maybe even pop it in our link later on. Hint, hint. Danielle, that would be lovely. Okay, bubbles. So here's what you do with these, especially if you have like a bubble blowing machine. What you can do with this, blow the bubbles out, have the kids poke it with their fingers or have them pick up a stick from the yard or a pencil if you got a pencil in the house. Do it in the house if you can't go outside. You know, dedicate an area and then just wipe up the floor if the floor gets all soapy. But pop and blow bubbles and so they can, this is an eye hand coordination activity. How many bubbles can you get? Can you get 45 bubbles? Can you get 100 bubbles? See if you can get 10 bubbles in 10 seconds, right? Make a game out of it. Two sisters or two brothers or a brother and a sister playing against one another. Who can get the most bubbles, right? And count it. They have to pay attention to the lots of things there. That's skill building in a lot of areas. Now I don't have time, nor uh, the energy in my cheeks after talking this much to blow this balloon up, but let's pretend that this is a blown up balloon. I don't even have a ball. Oh, I do, okay. We'll go with this. <laughs> so pretend this is my blown up balloon. <laughs> and what you're gonna do is you can just bat that, like bat it around, like knock it around and have a game of like, you know, almost like keep away or keep it up in the air. And how long can we keep this balloon up in the air? Maybe have a certain section in the house that you're like, okay, we've gotta stay right in here. We can't go outside of this section. Keep the balloon up in the air in this area, right? That's a lot of fun. Kids love this sort of stuff. Um, Okay, here's another one. This is one that we bought off of Amazon. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out really fast. It's kind of crazy, but it's a lot of fun. I won't be able to show it. Needless to say, I'm gonna look crazy here for just a minute, but you've got this headband thingy that you put on. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm about ready to run out of battery, guys. That's why I'm trying to talk really, really fast, but I do talk fast on a normal basis anyway. Go with it. All right, so we got this crazy headband on. And then you fling this ball up, if you can have the visual of this ball flinging up, and then they have to like hit it with their hand to keep it up in the air. And you adjust the size and length of this and the hat and everything to match this. You could make this at home. Make it at home. Take one of your daughter's headbands, stretchy elastic headbands, um, tie a string around it, and poke a hole in the ball and put a string through the ball. So simple. You can make this out of stuff that you have has to be a squishy Nerf ball. All right, but then they bat it up and they have to keep it up or they can punch it like this. They, it's one of the ones that they list that's really great. <laughs> ah, thanks, Valerie. I actually did dress like a flapper one year, 1920s <laughs> in the office. That's too cute. Hey, Melody, good to see you on here. So, all right, well, I know it's crazy, but I'm going fast. So I had lots of things to talk about. All right, so my last one that I have that I'm gonna talk about is this one, it's called Set. This is an amazing game, and I actually have pictures of all kinds of things I'm gonna be dropping down in the comments below. So when I get a chance, once I get out of here, I'm gonna drop off a bunch of games in picture in the comment section, one after the other, of some things that we have at our house that I dearly love. They're great games to play, not only because you need to stay busy, good family games, but they're really great vision-oriented games. Set. Okay, so this one is lots and lots of fun. This one is one of those that um, is a great card game. And what happens is, is it's kind of like you put all of these pictures out, all these cards out, and then they have to match them. They either have to match it, let's say like, this is kind of like these little wavy peanut guys. There might be three, two, and then one and you would maybe match up like all green, one, two, three of these peanutty items, or you might have like um, another card that's like red, three peanut thingies, and then you would take the set of those, okay? And this, the game is, is like how many sets can you get? So this is a lot of fun, it's great discrimination skills. Again, these are really awesome games that you can use with your kids, super simple. You know, you're trying to keep them busy, trying to keep them happy. Maybe you're trying to keep them out of the dang refrigerator so they're not eating you out of house and home, like at my house. Um, but <laughs> this is a fun game and it teaches great discrimination skills to help them. Little do they know you're helping them with their vision to build some skills to help them read better. So um, again, I'm gonna drop a bunch of things down in the comments. I thank you for joining me in on this whew, fast paced 
video. <laughs> I do talk fast, actually. Those of you who do know me know that I am <laughs> a fast talker a lot of times and I can talk very quickly. But I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope that this quarantine time is finding you all well, staying not only happy, safe, well, sane, all of those kinds of things. If you're not, though, for a moment of seriousness, and you really could be potentially struggling like mentally or emotionally, um, then reach out to me. Uh, certainly reach out to us here on our Vision for Life page. You can go um, send us a private message. You can reach out to me personally, send me a private message. You can email us. I will be the person who will connect with you at one point or another along the lines. And it's not my job, it's not my duty. You know, I'm not a doctor of that fashion because I do vision, but I certainly am compassionate and I want to help you if you need some help. And if you need to have a friend listen to what you're going through, or you just need someone to help lift you up, then I can be that for you. And I want you to know that we're all in this together and um, don't feel like you're alone. I hope you loved my games and my fun crazies. And I'll put a lot of different things down in the comments below for some more games. There's so many ideas. I could have done this video for like an hour and a half and kept y'all busy listening to me. But share it, share it, share it, share it because we need lots of ideas out there for moms who are trying to do it all and even dads who are at home trying to do it, th do it all themselves too. And let's keep each other <laughs> a little bit more sane. Plus, maybe there was some comedy in this just a little bit. So hopefully it held your attention a bit. And you know, we do this for a living. So uh, we help kids improve their ability to read um, their performance in the classroom, their ability to improve like eye-hand coordination, maybe to play a sport. We help adults too. It's not just about kids. Our age ranges that we work with are like six months old up until like there's no age range at the other end. We work a lot with traumatic brain injury patients. Hey, oh, good to see you, Nanad. Thank you so much. I do speak fast. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, you know, we work with kids and adults of all ages, a lot of traumatic brain injury, a lot of stroke patients who've lost vision. Um, there are so many things, uh, behavior disorders, autism, um, just kind of like you name it, we kind of work with it and that's our, our area of expertise. And if we can be of, of service and help to you in any way, then reach out to us. You can, hey Mamiko, good to see you on here too. You can go to our website, go to visionforlifeworks.com. There's a questionnaire on there you can fill out, kind of find out if there's something going on with your vision. And then the other thing that you can do if you haven't followed us yet, go to our YouTube channel. You can follow me on YouTube. And I'm gonna go live a little bit more often during this time, um, just because I think that we need to have good stuff to pay attention to instead of all the crazy stuff that's out there in the world. So with that, I'm gonna say thank you for tuning in. Dr. Julie Steinauer, if you have questions, reach out to me and like I said if you're struggling during this time emotionally reach out reach out we need to be having big hearts and um, opening ourselves up to help one another during this time okay all right be well thanks for tuning in and share it